Hey guys, welcome back. This is a big one because today I'm the pastor. Yep, I'm not actually leading worship today. This is the second time in 11 years that I actually get to be the pastor, the preacher, if you will. And so, you know, I'm really excited, but it also kind of got me thinking, like, is this an upgrade? Is, is like being the worship pastor down here, and then when you're the pastor in the part of the service that you get to, you're up here. Because I've often heard this thing where, like, pastors have said, that the song leading is kind of the warm-up time into the preaching and that you know you kind of got to get everybody's hearts in the right spot and that's what that's for and that's always kind of irked me so i actually put this question out to you guys on worship leaders plus and had like over 80 responses overnight it's crazy how opinionated we get right but um we're going to talk more about that idea like is worship just a warm-up anyways i'm excited for today it's gonna be a good day. Thanks for coming along. Vlog number 11. Walking the Green Mile. <laughs> His last Sunday. And I'm gonna miss you. I wanna talk about it. Turn Wait, it, I don't. Why, why aren't you preaching today? No, I'm actually, I'm so glad that on my very last day at Central that the right Reverend Ryland Russell is preaching. It's a little scary, but I did get you though, because you are having to lead the music yeah, first service. Yeah, listen. <laughs> Why did I even? I don't think. But you you're leading me. "Sunshine in My Soul." I've never heard this song before. There is sunshine in my soul. Give the Lord a hand. I need some advice. Like, what are some things that I should not say? Like classic pastorisms that I should not say while I'm preaching. Today. One more thing, I'm gonna wrap up. <laughs> Twenty-five <laughs> minutes later, I got just one more thing, and I'm gonna wrap up. And if I run across Ryland. a therefore, we're gonna find out what it's what there for. for. All right. So first service. Went good, preached my message. Don't think I said anything heretical, so that's good. Now to dive into this topic of, you know, is worship the warm up to the message? And I, I just want to go through some of the responses that I got on the post on worship leaders because I thought some of them were really good thoughts. And I think most of them are kind of in the camp of, you know, it's not its purpose is to set up the sermon, but it's a side effect of it. That when we worship, it stirs our hearts and our affections towards God, which makes them open up to be ready to hear the word. First of all, I like what Andrew Nordine said. He said, worship should prepare our hearts to receive the preached word, and the preached word should drive our hearts to a response of worship. That worship and the words serve one another as servants of Christ. Yeah, so they, they kind of go together, but one is not more important than the other. And I'm lost in the comments, but one of the other ones that I really liked was something about how Worship through song is when we get to minister to God, and then whenever we sit down and sit underneath the Word, we're getting ministered to from God. And it's almost like how when servants sit at the king's table, the king eats first and then the others are served. I never really thought about it that way, so I don't, man, I wish I could find the comment. If I do find it, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the screen right here. But. It's a really divisive subject, it seems like, but at the end of the day, I think it really comes down to a heart matter. You know, some pastors want to lessen the job of a worship leader and think of it as they're just the opening act to the main band that's coming on. And I don't think that's true. We preach sermons every week as we prepare our songs. Sometimes I would argue that we present a clearer picture of the gospel at times than a sermon might whenever it's really laser focused in on a certain subject on tithing or something like that um and so i think it's they they work hand in hand right and so my job my goal as a worship pastor is to make the complete service this whole thing that works together for one goal of glorifying god and pointing people to him so if you are a worship leader that has ever felt that way kind of lessened because of that kind of comment man i, I just want to encourage you that what you're doing is super important. So keep it up and uh, pray for your pastor, work together as best as you can. And as I preach today, I'm just so excited that I have an awesome team that is just gonna knock it out of the park today. Is worship a warm up for the sermon? 
Uh, I think yes, 105%. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, I just think that it's creating an atmosphere for people to refocus and center on Christ, give thanks to him, gratitude, and gets our hearts ready to hear his word. Absolutely. <laughs> it's a warm-up. Yeah, Worship is a warm-up for the sermon. It's a warm-up for everything in life. Oh, get your heart right. Ready to listen. Okay. In a sense, a little bit, but not not exactly. I think it's just another form of worship. And I definitely think it prepares our hearts, but I kind of just think of it as one big, just one big thing, different forms of worship. I don't know. That's just kind of how I feel about it. We also have something else that's really exciting today is that we are having a baptism. Uh, and no, nothing is like more joyous than baptism, right? Like it's just awesome to see people going all in with Christ, like committing. And so celebrate with us through baptism today. it like this. Your greatest impacts won't leave your imprint. Your greatest impacts won't leave your imprint. Back in my baseball playing days, which is getting further and further away, <laughs> man, it was the best feeling in the world when you would hit the sweet spot of the bat. And it's this odd sensation that if you've never experienced it, you know, it's hard to describe but you know when you've hit the ball with the greatest impact when you can't even feel it, <laughs> when you hit that sweet spot on the bat. I remember my, my first home run, I hit it. I didn't know, I knew I hit it well because I didn't feel the ball. I didn't know where it went and I was getting to first base and I look up at the umps going, I was like, you're kidding me, I hit a home run. Let's go, baby. So broke out the trot. Uh, but yeah, it, you don't even feel it when you hit it. And I think that can be true of our Christian lives sometimes, that, that we won't even feel it in the moment when we're making our greatest impacts. How did you think I did? I think you did good, like great. 
Awesome. She even took notes. Eden, how do you think I did? I didn't even hear you. And I just wanted to wrap this vlog up by saying, as I was standing there during worship before the sermon, I kind of felt like maybe worship does kind of set the stage for the sermon. <laughs> so maybe I changed my own mind. I don't know, guys. It's a flip-flopping kind of day, but I think it all works together. What are your opinions? Uh, post in the comments. Vlog number 11, signing off.